Good day everyone! Let's start our lesson by creating our own figure out of the basic shapes given here. If I'm going to create, I can probably do this, this one, or this one. Now, not all geometric figures are simple polygons or circles. In some cases, a geometric figure may be composed of different figures. Some geometric figures such as triangles, circles, and quadrilaterals may be combined to form a more complex geometric figure. Now, these figures that are combinations or made up of two or more figures are called composite figures. And that is our topic for today. We're going to discuss composite figures. These are figures made up of two or more basic plane figures, and sometimes it is called an irregular figure. For example, these figures. Now, what plane figures made up of this composite figure? So, we have here triangle and square, right? This one is rectangle and a semicircle, and this one is a triangle and semicircle. Now, how are we going to find for the area of a composite figure? In our last video, we discussed about the area of basic shapes and it's very important that we learn the formula so that we can get the area of the composite figures easily. Now, here are the three steps in finding for the area of a composite figure. First, we have break apart the composite figure into basic geometric shapes. Next is find the area of each small figure and add all the areas. So let's apply these steps in the given example. We have here a composite figure made up of triangle and semicircle. So first we need to break apart the composite figure into basic geometric shapes, then find the area of each figure. So let's find for the area. Uh, first, we find for the area of the triangle here, this one. The formula for the area of a triangle is base time side divided by 2. Then, you substitute the given. We have here the base is 12 meters for this triangle. And the height of the triangle is 8 meters divided with 2. You can get the area of a triangle is 48 square meters. Next is the area of this semicircle. So, a semicircle is half of a circle, right? So, if the formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared, then half of the circle is that we divide it to 2. So, pi r squared divided by 2. Then we, substitute the, then, we substitute the given for the radius. So, the radius is not given, but only the diameter of the sem semicircle. The diameter is 8 meters, and we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So if the diameter is 8 meters, therefore the radius is 4 meters. So we substitute 4 meters here for the r. Then you square first, which is 16 square meters. Then you multiply it to 3.14. We get 50.24 square meters. So basically, this is the area of the circle. But since it's just only a semicircle, we divide 2. Then the area of the semicircle is 25.12 square meters. Lastly, we add all the areas. Okay, so we add the area of the triangle and the area of the semicircle. We have 48 square meters plus 25.12 square meters. We have the area of the, this composite figure is 73.12 square meters. Let's have more examples. Find the area of this composite figure here. Now, by inspection, we can see that the figure is made up of rectangle and triangle. So, what we're going to do is to dissect this composite figure and get the area of the rectangle and the triangle. So, it's, let's start with rectangle first. So, we have the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now, the dimension is for the length is 15 centimeters multiplied by its width, which is 12 centimeters. The area of the rectangle is 180 square centimeters. Next, we find for the area of this triangle here. 
area of the triangle is base times height divided by 2. The base of this triangle is 7 cm multiplied by the height of the triangle which is same as the width of the rectangle which is 12 cm. Then you divide it with 2. Simplify. Area of the triangle is 42 square centimeters. Then let's add all the areas to get the area of this composite figure. We have here the answer is 222 square centimeters. Next, we have this figure. So let's find for the area of this figure below. Now, if we dissect this, we can form two shapes which are a rectangle and a triangle. Let's first get the area of a rectangle. So we have here the length is 10 meters. Here is the length of the rectangle and the width this is the width of the rectangle which is 2 meters then we get 20 square meters so we are done with the area of this rectangle so next is we'll find for the area of this triangle here so let's make a broken line okay, to separate the uh, rectangle and the triangle for the triangle, the formula is base times height divided by 2 and our base is 6 meters. Since this is 2 meters here and this part is 2 meters and the middle is also 2 meters. Since we know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, we can, we can fill in some missing dimension based on the given measurements of the figure so the base is six meters and for the height it is not directly given but the height of this composite figure is 15 meters and the height of the rectangle is 10 meters therefore the height of the triangle is five meters so you have to analyze the given measurement of the composite figure so we simplify, so that is 30 square meters divided by 2. So the area of this triangle is 15 square meters. Then we add all the areas for the rectangle and the triangle. We have 20 plus 15, we have 35 square meters. Next is find the area of this composite figure here. Now when we break the shapes, we can create rectangle and semicircle. So we find first the area of the uh, rectangle. So we have length times width and the length is 20 feet and the width is 8 feet. So we have the area of our rectangle is 160 square feet. Now let's proceed for to the area of the semicircle. So again, semicircle is half of the circle. So the formula for the semicircle is pi r squared divided it with 2. Now the radius is... Um, not given but it says here on the opposite side of the rectangle which is also the diameter of the semicircle which is eight feet and remember that the diameter is a double the radius so if it, the diameter is eight feet then the radius is only four feet then you multiply you square it we have 16 square feet then multiply it to 3.14 so we have 50.24 square feet divided with 2 the answer is 25.12 square feet then you add all the areas to get the area of the composite figure so we have 160 plus 25.12 you will get 185.12 square feet next let's find the area of this figure what I'm gonna do is dissect this figure by putting broken lines here. Okay, so we can form a square and a rectangle. But you can also dissect it here. So we have you can dissect it here, put a broken line. So you have two rectangles. This one is first rectangle and this is the second rectangle. But I prefer uh, dissecting it with a square and a rectangle it's up to you as long as you follow the measurement the area of the composite figure would still be the same 
Now let me start by getting the area of the rectangle. So the length is 10 centimeters and the width is 2 centimeters since the total height here is 5 centimeters and from here to here the measurement is 3 centimeters equal to its opposite side since this is a square therefore this side is only 2 centimeters then the area of the rectangle is 20 square centimeters for the square the side is 3 centimeters then the area is 9 square centimeters so the total area of this composite figure or the area of this composite figure is 29 square centimeters so i add 20 square centimeters and 9 square centimeters so this is the answer last example find the area of this figure by looking at it we can see that there are two trapezoids so we have here the small one and the bigger one so what we're going to do is to find for the area of these two trapezoids to get the area of this composite figure first is the area of the small trapezoid for the base base one is five five units and the base two is ten units i put units here as the unit since it's not specified what specific unit is used here so i'll just put units then for the height which is five units simplify the answer is 37.5 square units so this is the area of the small trapezoid next for the bigger one base 1 is 10 units plus the base 2 is 14 units then the height is 8 units simplify you will get 96 square units so the area of the this bigger trapezoid is 96 square units so to get the area of this figure we add the two areas of the trapezoid 37.5 plus 96 we will get 133.5 square units again don't forget that if there is no specified unit do not just write the number instead write units or square units if it's already the area so that's about it i hope that you learned something from this video